Hi, welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Karen, the children's librarian at the Oakmont Carnegie Library, and this week we are focusing on bats. I'm in front of our fall display, which is on this side, and then we've also got our cooking display. We've got a lot of really nice new displays up, so come on down and check them out. And the book that I'm reading today is called Bob's Blue Period. This is about art, and Bob's best friend is a bat. This is actually a uh, Saya Saad memorial book. So as some of you know, the beautiful artwork in our library, is, it all has been painted by Saya Saad, including the three dimensional objects. So it's nice because this is an art book dedicated to him. And so we begin. Bob and Bat are best friends. There they are hanging out in a tree. They do everything together. Best of all, they love painting. But one day, Bob couldn't find Bat anywhere. Only a note. Dear Bob, I'm so sorry. I must go away for a while. Your best friend, Bat. Where did he go? <clears throat> Bob felt lost without his best friend. He's very sad, draped over a chair. Maybe I'll do some painting, said Bob. So he painted a banana, a blue banana. He painted an orange, a blue orange. And he painted a tree, a blue tree. In fact, everything he painted, he painted blue. There was a big blue hole where Bat used to be. Al and Cat came to have their portraits painted. Where's Bat? And what happened to all the colors, whispered the birds. The burr shuddered Owl. Cat put on his new hat and tie. I'm ready, he said nervously. So Bob painted Cat. Oh dear, I guess it's my turn, said Owl. So Bob painted Owl. Bob missed Bat so much that his whole world was turning blue. What to do, hooted Owl. We have got to do something, shouted the birds. They had an idea, Bob. There is something you have got to see and grabbed him as they ran for the door. Out in the night they went. Where are we going, said Bob. Are we there yet, pleaded Bob. They reached the top of the hill just as the sun was rising. Wow, who painted that? He'd forgotten how many beautiful colors there are in the world. Excited but very tired, Bob went home to sleep. He dreamed dreams his dreams were full of color. Look at all of those colors. When Bob woke up, he felt so different. Just then a postcard dropped through the letterbox. Bat is coming home, cried Bob. Dear Bob, I've had a very long sleep in a lovely, damp, dark cave. I really missed you, but now I feel better and I'm on my way home. Your best friend, Bat. As he op oh, Andy opened the door and there was Bat. Did you get my card, asked Bat. All the friends had a big party to celebrate Bat's return. Welcome home, Bat. They've got lots of music and dancing and balloons. Now Bob's world is full of color again. He paints his grass green, his orange is orange, and his bananas. Well, who says you can't paint your bananas any color you like? I quite liked your blue period. So he did paint his bananas purple. All right, thank you for watching, and I will see you on Wednesday for a bat-themed craft. Have a good Monday.